Welcome to our Aeroflux tutorial today, which is on the semicircular rule. As always, let's begin with our glossary. IFR stands for Instrument Flight Rules. VFR stands for Visual Flight Rules. True Track, which is the flight path of the aircraft over the ground measured in degrees true and taken off a map. Magnetic track, which is the flight path of the aircraft over the ground measured in degrees magnetic and calculated from the true track. Remember as pilots we use a magnetic compass which is aligned to the magnetic north pole which of course is different from the true North Pole, meaning that we have an angular difference. Therefore, to calculate our magnetic track, we need to add our magnetic variation to true track. For example, let's take a true track of 0 to 5. We'll add Cape Town's variation, which is 24 degrees west and we arrive at a magnetic track of 049. The semicircular rule is a method used to separate the aircraft vertically. In a circle, we measure degrees clockwise, starting from zero through to 360 degrees. We'll split the circle into two equal parts with a straight line and number the first sector from 0 through to 179 and the second from 180 to 359. The first sector we'll call odds and the second sector evens. This means that all aircraft traveling in a roughly easterly direction will fall into the odd sector and they will have altitudes beginning with an odd number. For example, 3,000 feet, 5,000 feet, 7,000 feet and so on. Whereas those traveling in a proximate westerly direction will fall into the sector beginning with even numbers. So their altitudes will be, for example, 2,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 6,000 feet. If, for example, we have a magnetic track of 049, that will fall in the odd sector and we would have an altitude of 3,000 feet, 5,000, 7,000 and so on. Similarly, if we had a magnetic track of 301 falling in the even sector, we would have an altitude of 2,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 6,000 and so on. All of these so far refer to flights conducted under IFR, which as we have seen in the glossary, refers to instrument flight rules. When you begin flying, you normally fly under visual flight rules. And so we need to convert our semicircular from IFR to VFR. And we do this by adding 500 feet to each sector. Our examples now become on a track of 049 magnetic. We have an altitude of 3000 feet. We add 500 and our new altitude is 3500 feet VFR. And similarly our magnetic track of 301 becomes 4,000 feet plus 500. Our new altitude is 4,500 feet VFR. Remember in your calculations, a track is the aircraft path over the ground and remains unchanged between two places. Whereas a heading can change depending on the wind. Secondly, remember to convert true track, which is measured on a map, to magnetic track by applying magnetic variation. 
Once again, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you on our next Aeroflug tutorial. Enjoy your flying.